Hello there guys and welcome to this video that's a bit different and so I have been I haven't been posting as like normal like I haven't been posting Starbucks Thursdays and I didn't post last week's Minecraft Monday and this is why this server is is what I have been posting so there's just three of us on the server and I've just been playing with some friends on this Minecraft server. And it's been really fun. So I'm going to be giving you a tour this episode. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy the builds of this world. So we're starting on the ships here. And we... So this is my friend's ship. And this is his actually... Sh his, his, this is his shop. She sells three diamonds for these level 30 enchantment books. Two diamonds for the level 20 enchantment books and one diamond for 32 iron. Uh, and then he has some like, carrots and stuff like that. So, this is my ship. Uh, I am actually selling wood, but I ran out uh, because my uh, one of my other friends needs so much logs that he just bought all of me out and I don't have time to get it back. Uh, but, so first I'll show you my house, which is just down here. And it's it's basically just a cave. And then we have a toggleable nether portal. But I like just to keep it off. Even though the redstone looks a bit uh, scrappy behind, isn't it? I've actually added some soul soil under these slabs and stairs. I've got a few storage, and this behind here is actually an automatic chicken farm. I'm not going to show you, but uh, I th hope you can hear the sounds. So I've got a few stacks and like loads of eggs and feathers and things like that. I've just got a small brewing stand that I don't really use that often. Here's all my furnaces and stuff. That we've got really lucky. This there's so many thunderstorms that we've gotten these heads. This is my bedroom, which is actually tiny <laughs> when I think about it, but I don't need a bed. Down here we have a creeper farm, and you can see the funnel. Oh, there are bats spawning. Where the creepers come into, and then it's producing a lot of gunpowder. And this is used for fireworks to stock my other shop. So that ship was one of my shops, but the other, uh, the, I have another shop. This is my enchanting over it. And I wanted it to like rubble that's fallen on the bookshelves, and it still is in level 30 enchantments, uh, which is really useful. And then also back here, I have my lapis, my grindstone, and my anvil. I'm going to get some of the iron out of my iron farm, which I'll show you later, and make an anvil replacement center, which would be really useful. Uh, I've got a music collection. I paid some diamonds for my friend to my friends to say, oh, if you get me these, I'll pay six diamonds per. Uh, music disc. So I have a music collection. Uh, if I if you go through here, if I can get oh no I can't get up. <laughs> um, we have my bees, and this is just for, this is a temporary area that I'm gonna move up because I want to make Hagrid's house from Harry Potter as like the way to get into my house, and I'll have like a custom tree in my bees. So this is temporary. I have a bit more storage, but again, it's not that organised. It's probably the most organised chest I have. And then everything else is just other places. Actually, this is quite organised. Uh, creeper head. And then the last thing that's down this way is actually this storage system. And the way this works is that hoppers behind here. And then it just, you do the look mechanism with the hoppers and then they go it's like a mining storage system so it has iron redstone gold coal cobblestone and then junk chest i've added uh some like iron back there with my silk touch pickaxe some redstone and then if i just head back here uh you can actually see all of these hoppers and this is the main thing so you just put some iron a comparator coming out, two redstone, a repeater, and a redstone torch, and then a hopper under. And the way this works is that it gives it a redstone signal of two instead of just the one, which empowers the repeater, which lets the item come through the um, 
the, this hopper because of this resonant torch. Uh, that's the thing, and it it's really good because it works with like it can go straight next to each other, which is really useful. Down here we have a little cave because my house was actually built. In, it starts out as a, in a mine shaft, uh, which is cool. So if I just do this, we can hear the chickens dying. That's probably the main problem, just the chicken noises. Uh, then if we come up here, oh there we go. Uh, we have this is kind of my bin for now. I'm gonna make an incinerator soon, but you just throw something in and let it despawn. Then, uh, well, just more storage basically. And here I can actually, if I can break through, I should have come in here yet. We have an automatic melon farm, and the way this works is it, it, this is literally it, just a hopper under the repeater, and then everything else you see is what it is. And the melon grows, and then it sends a redstone signal to power the piston to then go to the repeater and in the repeater there's a hopper and then look how much melon I've got so much uh, and then I have my e-chest which I've actually made a lot of profit from my other shop uh, which is really useful and then I've got my beacon like this I haven't really done that well I've got, I've got the dragon egg uh, because <laughs> Uh, I just had it because someone else was trying to steal it, so I just put it in my e-chest. Cobblestone generator, basalt generator, using the same lava source. Behind here, this way, uh, I don't know if I can mine it, because there's water. But there's actually a sugarcane farm that funnels into here. A slime farm, you can hear the minecart. There you go. Uh, a uh, slime farm, which powers all these slime balls. Then this is actually really cool. This is a mumbo jumbo design, and this is rock paper scissors. So you you put rock and you press the button. Oh no! Okay, so because it's a server, I just need to fix it. Okay, one two three four five six. One two three four five six. There you go. And basically, if I now if I pick paper, it picks rock. So I won. If I go rock, it picks rock. Scissors. Hopefully, it won't actually just pick rock on this demo. There we go. And then I've won. So it's it works. I'll show you. Um, it works with the hoppers. Just have things going around, and then. It just it's it is quite simple actually, because then all it does is it powers the pistons, which put the wool down, and then whichever whichever comparator is powering that wool block, it goes to the redstone lamp, and it is very very simple. Simple egg farm, chickens, hopper, uh, barrel, and that is my house. Oh wait, <laughs> oh no, that is not my house. <laughs> I've uh, done the these little seats uh, with minecarts and chests under them, and it works really well. Uh, I'm going to make these piston doors so that it blends in instead of just being a door. If you go this way, I have a polar bear room uh, because I built my friend a cloud city, which I'll show in the moment, and he got bored, so he just got me loads of gifts. Uh, he, oh, this is my slime farm trail. Let's uh, hopefully see if it comes up quickly. Here we go. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, here's my strider room. And actually, if hello, if we go under, it goes into just a, a nice water room uh, so that you don't die if you fall into the lava. So now, if we go through here, the final room is probably one of the best rooms in my house. We have this little soul sand thing. Uh, but. <gasps> no! I did it! I did it! Oh my god! That took like five minutes. <laughs> okay, 
Well, this is the Panda Room because I'm obviously Panda Man 7. Um, not Panda Man Plays. But this is the best panda because it's crying and it's got bamboo in its mouth. And then I also have an automatic bamboo farm here, which is the same with my sugarcane farm. So my sugarcane farm has water and already it's producing a lot of bamboo. I just built this uh, yesterday night, so that was really good. Uh, no. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, um, uh, anyway, so now let's go to my nether base. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, this is from me building the other portal. This is my nether base. This is the mine to get netherite. I just have a crafting table. I, if you go up this ladder, you get to the other bit because we spawned in a ravine. So I just wanted to do that. I've got some storage which is more organised than my actual <laughs> storage. Got like crimson stuff, warp stuff, basalt, soul stuff, and then yeah, respawn anchor and lodestone. I actually don't know where my lodestone compass went. I could just make a new one though. Oh, also, we have this guy, which is actually a green design, and it's just a statue, which I think is hilarious, so I did it. Uh, so, it now we have finally finished with my base, kind of. Not, not really, but kind of. Uh, so, if we. The last thing of my base is actually, well. Hopefully my friends don't see this. This is my secret stash of eggs. Because I go go to people's homes, show the eggs. Then my friend always says, not one of them, says, I'll just wait till the older and it's free food. Uh, so I just go back in sneakily and just kill them and then walk away. And he gets really annoyed, which is hilarious. But only, take it if, uh, only do that if they're like a good sport on a server. Because otherwise <laughs> that would not be fun. Uh, but if we, oh, if we all the way here, so as I said, my house is a mine shaft, basically, so that under it there's a mine shaft, there's some spawners and things like that. So I made, I went caving, and I made this little trail of wood, go up here. I actually got lost, so my friend made this little tunnel to find me. Uh, but if we carry on going this way, then go through here, and just up there at that last wood, mm, that's not nice sounds. <laughs> uh, so this is another bit of the mine shaft. So there's a cave spider spawner here. But then also, if you go all the way back here, which isn't that far away from that cave spider spawner, there's another cave spider spawner. So there's a cave spider farm and a zombie farm because if we go up here, so this is a cave spider farm, but that, that way, like if we just follow this water stream, there's actually a zombie farm like a few blocks away from this. So there's three farms. Um, and this is how like my I keep my retools paired from the... Mending villages, which I'll show in a bit, unless my friend has moved them. Okay, and I have all of this string and rotten flesh, which is really and um, really good for emerald trading, which is why my friend is so rich in emeralds. Uh, so now that is finally done with the inside of my base. Finally, that was longer than I thought it would take because of that ocelot. But anyway, uh, I'll see you when we get back to my base. And we're back. So now if we go out of my base, we can actually go down here. And this is my friend's old base. Uh, this redstone was um, shocking. Here is actually my slime farm. So you can see that that's where the minecart goes to. I've had to spawn proof this area and I haven't done a very good job of it. Because we have so many slime chunks where we are. 
uh, that there's a lot of <laughs> space. Uh, okay, here it is. All the villagers. Uh, and come through here. Oh, this is. Oh, uh, um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh. There we go. Okay. So that was actually to get villagers up to my iron farm, which I'll show you in a bit. The, this is the last underground thing, basically. The last thing that looks like a cave. These are all our villagers. We have like unbreaking villagers, and we. I'll find a um, mending villager if I can. That's oh, this is our original villager. He was a zombie villager, and then we got efficiency four, which isn't the same. Oh, there's so many villager noises. He's normally here. Yeah, mending villager. He also has sharpness five, which is insanely lucky. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, uh, yeah, I just gotta get out of here. There's too many. Huh? Huh? Okay, so now that we're out of the caves, this is our horse stable. Kind of my horse stable. It's my horse. Um, and then we have to just finish a few things. Uh, like this is the original cave and this is the original nether portal here. And then we haven't actually done anything with this. Uh, hopefully they didn't despawn. Oh, here we go. The first turtles. And where's the other one? Oh, there the other one is. So these are turtles. We need to make this area a bit nicer, which is kind of my job on the server, to make community things look nicer, like the horse stable and the cow farm. So that's this is probably what I'll do next. After I finish this, which is actually my iron farm. Oh, I knew they could spawn here. Oh, okay. Well, just got to... Hope I don't die. Ooh. Got him. And there. Oh my god, I'm full of poppies, nice. Uh, yeah, so, I just uh, made this farm designed by Wattles, and it's really useful. I. Uh, he did an improvement video for like these stairs and they really help so that is a really good farm and it's gotten me loads of diamonds because I'm selling iron so now we, if we just jump down this is community carrot farm which I'll once again have to improve and the same with the wheat farm uh, the community shift came farm I might just take it down because no one actually uses it uh, here's the cow farm which I just made uh, this morning, and it's it's a really cool design. Uh, I've just included some salsa and podzol uh, from Modern Trader, um, and added like a little balcony area. I might add some wheat in a trough soon, and then I've added a forest behind it because this actually this whole area used to be forest, and then now now look at it. Uh, this is a creeper hole that my friend just used as storage. This is a temporary storage. Uh, he He's actually moved his main house back over there. Uh, but first I got a sheep. Get to my bed. It's another day. So, oh, got to turn this off. If we uh, go here, this is the graze. So we got here lies Slimer, the slime ball that was loved by all. And Slimer was a mini slime ball in that uh, villager area that the two of my friends uh, killed when they were having a fight, and they actually killed uh, Slimer. It was a baby slime ball, so he did nothing. 
Oh, that's not good. Uh, here lies Speedy Eleven, who saved the village from evil raiders. And Speedy Eleven was my best horse. And we did a raid, and then he saved uh, me and one of my friends. Sadly, they don't actually have their things under their graves because uh, one of my other friends, who has been on once, and this is the only time he was actually on, he stole their graves. We're trying to get it back from him. Uh, and then if we go in here, this is actually this is actually my shop. And this is based off Mumbo Jumbo's design of Mini Sahara. So if we go down here... I can fit. There we go. You can see the redstone behind this. And so this was Mumbo Jumbo's tutorial. If you want to build a shop on a server, this is it. To do. So this is what you should do. This this shop. Uh, I'm probably going to join another server in January when I stop this server. So I will be doing another world tour uh, of this server uh, in January. But. Uh, this is really useful and I will be doing a tutorial of this maybe next week, but probably the week after. Or maybe when I do it on the next server. Because in he did his for 1.14 slash 1.15, whereas in 1.16 the target box changed some redstone. So my friend helped me out with this red coder because I know 1.14 redstone, not 1.16 redstone. And this is his kind of AFK area. I don't know what, okay. Um, and the way it works is, if I, have I made any profits? No, I, I just took out all my profits uh, this morning. So I was just saying, okay, so, if I, what do I want? If I want, a mending book, here we go. It's one diamond for one mending book. So I press the button. And you can see a book flies out into the hopper, but the barrel is shut, so you can't take it. So it says, give me a diamond. You put a diamond in, press the button, and you can take your mending book. And then me, the, uh, the shop owner, can take this diamond from the profits chest, so other people can't take it. And then if I, if I bought it myself for a demonstration, I can just put it back in. And that is a really useful shop. So you should definitely go check out Mumbo Jumbo's tutorial. And if you want to do it in 1.16, you should see if I make an upcoming tutorial in the next couple of weeks. So that's my main sh oh I need to put my diamond back. That's my main shop. Uh now if we if we go over here. This is uh this person who got banned his house because he uh, burnt our ships down, uh, which is like a few hours of work, which is annoying. So he got banned. This is his house. I need to. I need to improve this because there's been a few creeper holes and stuff. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. This was a little just uh, destroying area. Uh, oh, this is my friend's new cloud. Uh, so that's Cloud City, which I'll show at the end because I actually built that and it's. Re I'm really proud of it. Now if we go over to probably the best place on the server, which is one of my friend's houses. It's probably the best house on the server, definitely. Here is just a uh, warped farm, which uh, hopefully he'll destroy eventually. And this is his house, his exterior. It's so beautiful. Honestly, if I had shaders, I'd put it in shaders because this, all this terraining and terraforming with the nether bastion parts looks so nice. And then I also added some soul sand for him under these so it's quicker. But if we just go up here, you also see a little log here which has some beehives which is also adds to it. And then bamboo is string over the top. And all together it's just nice. So then if we go through, pressure plate door. Oh, if you go through, and obviously this is another themes. This is his house. It's work in progress. So at the moment, we feel like we could be the same as his house. 
are mine and my friend, my other friend's house who are in the house competition. But when he finishes, we know that he's going to win. And all of this iron is from my sh shop. Um, so that's how I'm making profits. Uh, <laughs> which I find hilarious. And I dug out this area for him uh, because I thought he's going to win the house competition anyway. I might as well help him win. Uh, yeah. And then he's doing a sorting system. And then when if he goes in this chest, he needs to hook it up so it can go into the sorting system there, there, and at the back there. He says that he's going to add some farms in the middle, and that that's when he'll have the best base on the server. <laughs> so now... Oh, I just took those screenshots. <laughs> um, now, if you if you follow me up into the air, this is Cloud City. If you don't know what Cloud City is, then I don't know. Basically, it's from Star Wars, and it has those little spires, um, and it's in it's a city in the clouds. And it has a city on top and then loads of like storage and houses on the bottom. So this is where everyone works and then down there is where everyone lives in this area. And this is my friend's iron farms. He has two iron farms linked into one which is why his is better. And he sells iron at his shop because he has more iron to spare. And then he has a uh, carrot farm here that is a work in progress. I don't know what's happening here. He j he's literally just building it now uh, before I started recording this because I was seeing what he was doing. And yeah, so he paid me a stack of diamonds and all those like uh, those animals to build this. And it probably should have been a bit more, uh, a few more diamonds because this was a lot of work. This was a three days straight with basically no no recording anything else, no editing anything else. This was it. That's all I was doing, apart from eating and sleeping. So, this took me a while to do. I've got loads of glowstone. So now, if I show you the inside, it has a little elytra pad where the beacons are. If we go inside, this is the inside. This is a bit of... He's just using his chorus fruit area for storage. If we go actually inside, uh, that's the chorus fruit area. And this is the seating area. He used that minecart trick like I did in my house. And he then also, if you just go here, this is nether portal. This is like supposed to be the carbon chamber. I had like other ideas for the carbon chamber and the interior, but uh, this is what he went with. I'm definitely not annoyed about that. Uh, this is his like room, and he's got loads of bosses enchanting because. He has so many emeralds. Uh, it's in his ender chest, but he has so many emeralds. Uh, this is his enchanting room. And I am just so happy with the exterior of this. And then he's doing like farms, like iron farm and carrot farm in the clouds to make it like an actual city in the clouds. But it's just so nice, I think. And then if you go close up, you can see the spires of the end rods and it. It just works so well. And there's one more thing to do. Which is to go down here. I hope there's only one more thing. If I've forgotten anything, it'll be in the next world tour. This is our skelly grinder. Oh. Yeah. Which gives us all of our arrows. Oh, I might as well stop up on some arrows. Before he shoots me, okay, yeah. Um, that's our skelly grinder. And that huh, is the world. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. In the end, I didn't want to go to spawn because there's not much to show. Um, it's just an island of sand. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoy the server and I want to do more tutorials and world videos about this server. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week on Minecraft Monday. Bye!